and this is Crazy Felix, and you're watching Problem with Clay Bardet. Play by Deb, and I'm here today with Crazy Felix, and I'm giving him some treats because <laughs> this is actually his fourth video today, and he's been taken away from his birdie watching and had to work really hard today. Um, but what we're going to be showing you today is how to make this simple wreath that is on the spare from Palmer Clay, and um, in a later tutorial, I will show you how to make the bear because it will just take too much time to do the whole thing from start to finish. So let's go over the list of materials of what you'll be needing today. You will be needing some emerald green um, Sculpey 3, and I am using, this is Cherry Red Fema Soft, and it has been rolled out to a setting of 5. You'll also be needing a straight edge, um, a needle tool, an X-Acto knife. I am using a double-ended stylus. These are some beads that I'm going to show you how to make um, holly berries with and a scraper blade and your trusty garlic press. So I think now that we have everything that we need, we are ready to get started on our wreath. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take a piece of our green clay and we are going to start by rolling it into a ball and then into a cylinder. like this. Now um, some people have asked me what I'm working on, what surface I'm working on, and I'm actually working on a um, cutting board, a glass cutting board that I bought at Walmart and one side was smooth, one side was textured, the smooth side had legs on it so I took the legs off the smooth side and turned it over. So I'm working on the smooth side but it's it's been great to work on. Um, protects the surface Right. So now I've rolled out this long cylinder and I'm going to shape it into a reshape. And I guess it looks like this is probably about the size that we want. And I just put the two ends together. Now you can use what you're learning in this video for a number of different sizes and you can embellish it and do a lot of different things with this one, one wreath. All right, now I'm going to take my garlic press and put some of this green clay in there. And um, it can be kind of hard to push your clay out through your garlic press. So I'm just going to push it all the way out, cut it off, and I may have to do this a couple times. Then I just kind of like bunch it up so that it's not just straight little strands on my wreath. All right, and you can see how it's kind of like shaping up there. Now I just press it on top of my wreath. I may have enough here. I may not have to do it again. So you just want to make sure that you have the sides and the inside and all covered. You also want to make sure that it looks somewhat consistent in size where you don't have one part real fat and another part kind of skinny. See, there's the skinny part, so I'm going to stick a little more in there. I'm also going to show you two ways to make holly berries on this. Um, a quick, easy way, and then um, the time-consuming way. And then you can take your pick. Alright, there we've got our wreath. Now I'm going to make my bow next. So I'm going to put that aside and take my red clay and people have probably seen me do this before to make a bow. I cut strips. I 
This is probably somewhere between a quarter of an inch and a half inch thick, my strips are. All right. Um, and I just eyeball it. Some of the things I do, I will measure it, but this isn't one of them. Usually two is enough. I'm going to notch the ends and make two streamers. And I will put these on my bow or my wreath. And I always squeeze the tops to make it look a little more realistic. So I'll put those on there and then I try to give it a little bit of a ripple to make it have some movement and it's not just flat. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we're ready to make the loops. And you just take your clay and fold it over to the size you want. And you do too. Now if you wanted to, you could make a great big fat bow with like five loops. And I've done that before on some of my fireplaces. And we'll press that on. And here again, we're squeezing the center of this loop to make it look more like an actual bow that's been tied. You want to press it on there really good. I take my stylus and kind of push down on the insides to make sure that it is on there. Alright, and then you need to make a little piece for the knot. So I just that goes in the center, so I just cut a, a small piece, thin piece, and put that in the center, and press it around the bow, and then you can take your needle tool and just press in the center of that. Now, I'm going to show you the way to cheat on your berries, <laughs> and then we'll make some time-consuming berries. These are just um, some beads that uh, I guess are like seed beads. These are a larger than a seed bead. These are probably about a size four, four millimeters. And um, we'll use these as berries. And I take my needle tool and push them on there and then just push them inside the clay like so. And this is, uh, if you were making a lot of ornaments, this could save you a lot of time. But you do need to make sure that you've got them in there really, really good because they could fall out. But you can see they do look good. But another important thing is you need to make sure that if you do use these beads, you need to make sure that they are the same color as your ribbon. Otherwise, um, it wouldn't look good. So now that you've seen how I do that, I'm going to take them out and make some berries out of Palmer clay. And all you need to do is just take some um, little piece of clay and roll them into balls and press them on there. Now one of the things you could do to, to make a variation of this particular design is to make it a little larger, maybe put some hearts on it that you put names. You could also put um, an icon at the bottom of it and make a heart and hang a heart from the bottom of this. Um, there's just all kinds of things you can do with this wreath. You could actually, if you make them this size, these would make some great napkin rings. So, uh, actually, I hadn't thought of that before, but these would make some pretty napkin rings. And you could even put um, a place where the person could have their name on it for your dinner. 
and put a hook in the top and then they would have an ornament to take home with them after the dinner. So you just need to be creative. Plenty of things you can do with polymer clay. All right, now I'm about to put my last uh, little bead on here, or not bead, but holly berry. Now, one of the things that makes them look better is to just take your stylus and just put a little tiny hole. And that makes them look a little more real and also gives it a little more detail. Okay, so basically it's done. Now if I were to put a hook in the top of it, it would be an ornament. But I'm not going to put a hook in the top of it because I am going to utilize it on this bear in another video. And um, that's basically all there is to making this simple, easy wreath. Well, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will subscribe to our channel, Polymer Clay by Deb. And if you would like to purchase this little bear, it is available on our website at www.debandco.com. Please become a fan of ours also on Facebook, and that is facebook.com forward slash Deb and Company, all spelled out, where you can go and get a chance to win this bear because we do give away everything that we make in our tutorials. So once again, I'm Deb with Deb and Company, Polymer Clay by Deb, and this is Crazy Felix. And he has had a rough day today. He's worked really hard. So thanks for being with us. Bye-bye now. Um, this tutorial, another one will be the bear because it's really uh, too much. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, tutorials <laughs> at Facebook, um, Deb & Co. Our website at debandco.com. If you would please fan page us at, I'm losing it.